Okay, so I guess I'm a little... The YouTube... CNN YouTube debates just went off yesterday. And they were fucking amazing. I watched the majority of them. I missed the beginning, but I watched a lot of it. Revolutionary. They called it historic. As soon as it was over, they, they referred to it as this historic event. Because the people were asking the politicians the questions. Not the, not the moderator. You were seeing the people suffering, asking what the politician was going to do to help their suffering. And then the politicians were talking amongst themselves. At the end, they were all congregating with the crowd, like they were walking through the crowd. John Edwards was like standing uncomfortably. You could tell like Barack Obama, it was like the people were around him and talking to him. And You know, this is a, a government of the people now. Really. It's so more for the more of the people than it ever has been before. So we, by making videos, are are impacting this political process so powerfully because just the fact that the politicians are hearing the voices, the voices are affecting their minds, and they are subconsciously changing as people. They're not going to be isolated sitting in the White House with the TV, maybe the TV on, and and that's it. They're, you know, they're on the internet. They're accessible. I think maybe I'm a little radical. It really pisses me off how people refer to me, they refer to, they're like, you druggie, you druggie. You know what? Fuck you. You know how many fucking people smoke weed? I've never done coke, acid, ecstasy, meth. I've never done anything. I smoked weed, and I've taken mushrooms a few times. The only reason people associate me with drugs is because I've been open about it. Fuck you. I'm so I'm sorry. No, not fuck you. Not fuck you. I'm just tired of people discounting what I'm doing and what I'm saying because of I've been open about that I've experimented with drugs. Mild drugs. Okay, mushrooms are a little hard, but I haven't done it that many times. I mean, I've talked to people that have fucking done acid a hundred times. And they don't get hassled because they don't talk about it. Because they just lie, they just lie or they just keep it in. The last thing, you know, the last thing uh, Anderson Cooper said is, I'm looking forward to hearing your questions, let's keep it clean. That's, that's one thing about politics, is that we have this image that we want to keep up in this country, that everybody's clean. The dirty people are bad. The clean people are good. Everybody's dirty. Newsflash. Everybody's got fucking pain. Stop referring to me. Stop relating what I'm saying to drug use because it has nothing to do with it. What I'm saying is what, I'm, what I want. I want to help. I want to use this technology to bring people together. And it's not because of the weed. It's because I really want to bring people together. I really want to see global warming slow down and I want to see fucking technology that allows us to reproduce water from the air and make our own fresh water and technology that can create the plant's breathing structure and technology that can help to reform the ozone layer and technology that can allow us to quick, more quickly build a spaceship in space so that we can move people off the planet without watching them die because if we don't get people off the planet they're just going to starve and die and the heat's going to bake half the world and kill half the population. And that's going to be the fucking evolution of humanity if you want that, if you just sit around. The evolution of humanity is all these poor people are going to die and all the people with money are going to live. Unless we bring the people together using the internet, we get politicians in office that are listening, that are working with the people, and we start making great change on a mass scale, which we can do. We have, we have to move together as a unit. That's how great change is affected when we move together as a unit. When we get the pack moving, we can do anything. We can build anything. They built the pyramids. The Egyptians built the pyramids. Of course, they built it using slave labor. But there wasn't the communication tools in place to better, more effectively build the pyramids. Now, you know, look how many pyramids we build. All these buildings, all these structures, all this... 
everything that we've built, this technology. I'm getting off track, man. I want to talk about the YouTube debates a little bit more. I think I had a vision about these things happening. I didn't know, realize they would happen on CNN. I thought they would happen online. They kind of started to, this is even better than I could have imagined. Steve Grove is the most amazing person that's appeared, one of the most amazing people that's appeared on YouTube to me. Just, he just appeared and was like, I am championing this experience. I am making it happen. Thank you, Steve. And that I'm, I don't need to be part of it. I don't need for the politicians to hear my voice directly. I feel like it's a ripple effect. You know, if some people hear me, then they, and then they speak, and then other people hear them, then I've affected all those people. And that's good enough for me. I would have loved. I would have liked to have seen my question up on CNN, but it's just. I'm just so hardcore. I get so crazy, and I'm like, "Tell me the truth, tell me." And that to put that up there for a politician, maybe they're afraid. Like, this guy can't be on level with a politician. We can't put the put this guy demanding that the politicians tell him. I wasn't asking. I was telling them to tell me the truth. And maybe that's too extreme. Maybe they want the politicians to seem like they're up on a pedestal, which they're not, but that's the illusion of politics. Of course, I think the illusion is breaking down, and the people really are on the level. I'm going to go on stick cam today, and I want to give you guys my stick cam page and my MySpace page, because I use them both frequently. My MySpace page is myspace.com backslash crossmac. And my stick cam name is crossmac also. I'll put the links up over here. So come on by the stick cam room later. Peace be with you, my friends. We are making great change. We are bringing the community together, the human community together.